to this time, I have seen a lot of people take a shot at stand-up comedy. Now, the ones that did well for themselves all had one thing in common. They just didn't stop doing it. That's it. They understood that in order to be good at stand-up, they have to be bad at it. And I think that's true for any line of work. Now, I know these last couple of years that you've lost to COVID have been tough and they would have affected your self-confidence. I know that a lot of fun was made of the COVID batch, but I urge you to have a little bit of perspective about this. As time passes, as your skills and your confidence develops, you won't even remember any of these things that were said. You will be too busy achieving meaningful things in life to even care about any of this. You won't even remember any of these things that were said. You will be too busy achieving meaningful things in life to even care about any of this. Well, most of you, I hope. Some of you are going to fail. That's just what happens in life. And statistically speaking, that's just the truth. I'm sorry. I've been asked to keep this funny, so some of it is going to be... And statistically speaking, that's just the truth. I'm sorry. I've been asked to keep this funny, so some of it is going to be pretty mean. But that's just how it is. Our first speaker for the event today is one of the most prominent and respected leaders in the country. Here to inspire us with her never give up attitude and her perseverance. Let's hear it for prominent and respected leaders in the country. Here to inspire us with her never give up attitude and her perseverance. Let's hear it for Vibha Padalkar, CEO and Managing Director of HDFC Life. Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to this convocation. Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to this convocation ceremony for the bounce back batch of 2022. I wish I could have been with all of you in person today. Nevertheless, the virtual, the digital, call you what you may, that format is here to stay. This undoubtedly has been a fairly tough time for all of you. You had to interact uh, on all your online classes uh, without ever meeting your teacher. Similarly, your teachers also went through a fairly tough time. They had to prepare the earlier night or over the weekends in again completely uncharted territory. You know, the world might be uncharitable in calling you the COVID batch and by that insinuating that you took things easy that you attended classes in your pajamas. But really, there's another side to what all of you have gone through. Each one of you would have been affected in some manner or the other, whether it is in the form of you yourself being affected by COVID or a loved one, the uncertainties, financial difficulties, and so many other endless uh, uncertainties. And yet, you bounce back and you're here today. Well done, bravo. You know, I do believe that when life gives you lemons, we have to make lemonade and enjoy it. And that's where I want to share a personal experience, a journey of mine. Today, I'm seen as a successful CEO, a woman leader, so on and so forth. Someone who has it all. In the year 1985, I had just shifted to London along with my parents. My father had got posted into the Indian High Commission in London. I was 17 years old. At that point in time, I had a vague notion that I wanted to become a chartered accountant. And so I applied uh, to various prospective employers because you needed a job to do your articleship. I applied to 81. I basically carpet bombed because I didn't know one from another. I wrote letters um, and I posted them and I waited and I hoped and I thought it would be easy because I was a reasonably good student, very consistent, hardworking, blah, 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 and, and so on. And then every morning, somewhere around nine o'clock, uh, the letters used to start coming in of rejection. They used to be pristine white letters and there used to be a slat in our door for the letter, uh, letters to come in. The postman used to push those through and I used to be hopeful with each one of those letters every time. And out of the 81 letters that I had posted for job applications, 79 rejected me. They used to be very polite and say, you know, if we have an opportunity